Hiya lovelies, welcome back. So welcome to a little bit more about my other side of my life. This gorgeous machine you are seeing in front of you here at the moment is a Kawasaki ZX12R, she's the Ninja. Now this one is a 2001 model, she's 180 brake horsepower with a top speed of 210 miles an hour and she packs a fucking punch. She's an absolutely stunning machine. Sorry, I've got a limp, so my, <laughs> my, let's just say walking with a selfie stick isn't probably the best, but I just wanted to give you a good look at what she is. She's an absolutely stunning, stunning bike really really is and she's an original too so they're quite rare now um also you can see in the background there there's my baby beamer and then if i turn you around we've got our 530d which is also a monster nothing to do with this video at all but that there is the beast and she is a beast so I'm just going to do a little bit of a vlog now so you can see me on <laughs> the first time I've been out on a bike for, well, nearly two years. Well, on the back anyway. Stay tuned. Hiya, lovelies. Welcome back. Um, well, not welcome back because you've probably just seen the clip i done of the little bit of a hop around this amazing one of our beasts in the background here. So we're now back in uh, the workshop. Um, this place is absolutely huge. There's so much stuff going on around. So I have to be very careful about where I'm putting uh, my stick. I've never used a selfie stick before. Not this kind anyway. <laughs> yes, this is another video that's going to have to be put as um, an age restriction. Uh, I think like basically most of my channel, um, as you can hear, there's the odd car going past on the little bit of a road out the front of my house. I do live in the country. I'll just give you a bit of a look there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, I am literally, literally, literally buzzing at the moment. I really, really am because it's been so, so long since I've been able to um, get on a bike, uh, got my leg over. Whoop! <laughs> now, okay, I did have to go on the back. Um, unfortunately, this one here, you know, she's a seriously, seriously heavy bike and there's not a hope in hell with me weighing like just over seven stone at the moment. I can even lift her off the stand, which is a bit of a pain in the, yeah, the vagina. But <laughs> um, I will give you a little bit of a sneaky insight into what's going on in, you know, this other part of my life that you don't get to see. Um, I will be back, you know, uh, in the future with another freewheeler. That's all I'm going to say. She is a bike engine. Um, I'm documenting the whole uh, rebuild, reprocess. You know, actually, this, this, this isn't even a rebuild. This is kind of a near start from fresh kind of job. But yeah, bike engine, because, you know, that's the way I roll here. And um, there's another little project going on as well. But that's kind of like, you know, just something for me to be fiddling at for the next couple of months. And I'm just, yeah, I'm excited extremely extremely happy today as you can probably tell by the smile on my face to get that little bit of an adrenaline rush again and to just feel back to back to me and blow away some much needed cobwebs from my brain <laughs> there's probably still a lot more in there but for the time being at the minute you know a lot of people don't understand um you know bikers in general it's kind of one of them things. You've either got it or you haven't got it. And um, when you can put a machine between your legs and a tank on top of a hot engine that's full of petrol and ride that like a motherfo down the road, um, yeah, you, you've got spine, you've got backbone, do you know? Um, even to, you know, a lot of you lovely ladies that I know in person and love to bits, that just go pilly on the back fair play babes because you know as I said I'm not used to going pilly anymore um I'm used to riding myself but you know it's uh wow 
I just, I don't care now if I have to stay pilly for the next couple of months, why um, I'm looking over, I'm looking over, why my new baby is in the making. But um, that's that and yeah, um, like I know there's just this whole part of, you know, being out on a bike and it is classed as that feeling of freedom where you have to be on high alert as well for other things like especially around here tractors cows in the road you know the odd dog that decides to come out and give you a chase other people in cars that don't look okay they just don't look and um, thankfully we haven't had any of them experiences today because I probably would have cacked my pants um, you know uh, especially being on the back and not being in control which you <laughs> know it's a bit like how can I explain this to a cage driver sorry a car car person um if you've used if you've used to been dry if you've used to been whatever if you know if you normally drive yourself and then for some reason or another you have to go you know passenger you can get a little bit freaked out can't you well it's kind of the same in a way feeling I get only um yeah I feel a lot safer riding myself I do, even though, like, you know, my partner there is brilliant pilot, really is. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, um, my brain's gone because I'm literally on cloud nine at the moment. I'd forgot how hard it was to get on all my protective gear, lovelies. I really had. It was a severe struggle. <laughs> and now I'm going back in to hopefully be helped remove them because in that way now you know keep it clean but um <coughs> I can't wait for you to see um, bits and pieces that's coming up very very different to my usual content of beauty boxes or doing my makeup or some of you know just some health issues I have that you know I'm going to deal with and that's going to be that um, I'm hoping to get this little bit of I think I think they call it a vlog when you do it this way uh, holding this bloody selfie stick thing is killing my arm. Maybe I should have set the tripod up, but sure, hey ho. <laughs> it's all a new experience for me, this bit. Um, yeah, so, oh, just from the little bit of, uh, you know, the spin I got out today, I will say for any of you ladies that are on the bike scene, Rimmel 24 hour Kyol eyeliner gets my thumbs up so far but I'll be doing a better testing of some waterproof type makeups you know when I get back out myself um, also in the making um, what will be going on my new uh, freewheeler will be a GoPro so hopefully in the future it's not it's probably not even going to be this year now we'll see um, I am going to be doing um, little bits of vlogs and maybe bringing this to a few little places I like to go and I really really hope soon when all this shit storms over that we can get back to a few of the bikes you know the bike rallies things like that because there's a lot of you if you're watching that I am missing the bloody hell out of especially some people that I made really close bonds with over the last well what 20 odd years do you know um, and I'm sure when you see this, you're all going to be delighted to see me back in my gear. So without further ado, I think I said this about fucking five minutes ago, but I'm off. Um, and I shall see you all in, well, not most years because it's not really, you know, a lot of you ain't going to be interested in watching me stick on my slap. But yeah, um, anyway, as always, lovely, stay safe, take care, right? Just be kind to each other because you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So, bye for now, sweeties. Oh, how do I turn this off? Bye.